Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. In this episode, we're going to do the Suburban Cocktail. Uh, it comes to us from the old Waldorf Astoria bar book. Um, it appears to come from James R. Keene from the 1800s, who was a racehorse enthusiast. He had several different racehorses, and he named this after the Suburban Handicap, which was a particular race that happened at one of the, uh, the Brooklyn race yards. Uh, it starts off very simply with one and a half ounces of rye whiskey. And then a half ounce of Jamaican rum. And a half ounce of port. And then a uh, dash each of aromatic bitters and orange bitters. Now, no garnish was specified for this drink, but I think I'm going to use a orange twist. And again, we're going to use our bar spoon. Tighten it up just a little bit to try to get a little bit of curl into it. Let it expand off. And drop it over the edge of the glass. It's a delicious drink. You don't normally find port used as an ingredient in drinks. Um, it's kind of playing the role that a sweet vermouth would because notice we're having two spirits in the drink plus the port. The port's being kind of a, a heavier than a sweet vermouth would be, but we're not using an awful lot of it. And therefore it's taking added a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of background spice and texture to it. And by doubling up on the bitters, that's kind of playing the role that some of the aromatics that normally be in a sweet vermouth would that the port doesn't have in it. So the drink ends up being fairly similar to a Manhattan, just not quite as heavy because of the rum is taking and softening things up. And there we have the Suburban Cocktail.